been using your last set of defaults and it's going now let's get the canopy I know I haven't completely finished this model yet I've still got some graphics to attach to attach to stick on it um, graphics supplied by bndgraphics.com will completely transform the model and I'll be doing a separate video on those shortly in the workshop as to showing you a couple of models that have those graphics on it and of course applying the graphics to this model as well completely transforms it in my opinion I've also got a set for the extra NG which is on order and I'm told from Aerobotics in Belgium that should be with me in about two weeks time so where are we now end of March pretty much so hopefully by mid April you'll start seeing the build videos for that one coming out and that'll be using the X Power 60 setup running on 12s again six and a half thousand packs looking forward to that then once that's up in the air and going we'll start the build of the Krill Ultimate using the GP123 because I do have it now yep I kept that pretty quiet I've received it I've picked it up it's not quite the one that I ordered because it needs spraying it's just all in white but we can do the build and then find someone to help me with the spraying okay so we are plugged in takes a bit of time let's see if we can get the Insta360 go to for the wingtip now I'll face the camera forward this time so it just pops on hit connect and then use this little remote to start it recording so my goal here is to get a bit of the you know, front forward facing great it is recording um, so you can see what's going on from there right the sun has come out where's my hat get the cap on bit of a difference we fly into the facing the sun here right pre-flight checks right left up down left right throttles on taxing out hardly any wind today about four mile an hour but I will make sure I take off into the what wind there is I'm actually flown right to left yet with this one right okay just hook the transmitter onto the strap I'll do fly over the next strap find a bit more relaxing and then this camera camera's everywhere I've got nobody with me today I'll just point a little bit at the transmitter if I can so I might be able to mix that in it's always weird sound next to the transmitter yeah we are allowed to fly by ourselves down here obviously being extra safe there are people around just know the flyers all right so up down left right right and up great right left on the rudder all right we're looking good okay so half throttle for takeoff as per normal with this model condition is fine let's go Powering up slowly we're rolling tails up now and we're wheels up now Minutes. Wait for 30 seconds taxiing out. <laughs> so my timer does stop if I'm not using the throttle, the throttle's on idle, because obviously I'm not using the main batteries at that point. So just doing a gentle circuit, just checking trims, just a habit. Turning back into the right, throttling down to overfly the patch takeoff area. No drop a bit of height some trees down that end to fly over we see those if you're on board right now nice hands off love it nice and slow look at that great let's power up into a 45 degree up line about full throttle now quarter roll half roll throttling off pulling out Nice. 
twice. Coming out into vertical, still turn. Bit of aggressive still turn that one, just tucking the nose in before putting out. Inverted flight, straight and level. Quite a fast roll there if you're on the wingtip camera. Pulling out. Try better still so full roll up. Kicked over slightly. Sword into the left. Nah, I thought that didn't quite stall properly. Never mind. Got away a bit, stalled out. Okay, so cubinate, pass sense line, two, one, pulling up. Steering the rudder all the time, pulling down towards 45 for centre, rolling on centre, pulling out, just repeating the same to the half, bit scruffy. Over a bit tighter, Matt, come on, falling down and rolling out. Right on the way out. Three minutes. Let's do a top hat, put it back in, pulling up. Quarter roll. Oh, I'm very rusty. Let's do go for a loop. Right powering up for the loop. Two, one. Put it a bit sharp into that loop. Absolutely roaring. Let's go around again. It's a bit better, a bit more gentle. A bit of right rudder all the way over the top. Coming off the rudder, coming off the power. Smoother. Up again, rolling. Himself lots of space, going to try a four point roll. Completely messed it up on the last slides, so let's try again. Just over half the roll. Roll to the right. One, two, three, four. Just veered off track and veered height again, same problem as before. And just holding in the rudder too long. Minutes. Probably doesn't need as much as I'm putting in, to be honest with you. So that's just because I've been practicing that. It's quite a lot different to my laser. Right, going into square loop. Two, one, pull. Pull over top, pull it back. I want to soften the other way a little bit on this flight condition. Right, I said I'll try the conditions, so let's turn around. Almost completely flo forgot then. So this first time I'm going to flick it into my 3D flight condition. I'm not going to be doing much 3D, I just want to see what it feels like. Okay, it's on now. Let's just try the roll rate first. That's okay actually. Let's try the best around the elevator while I'm up there. Actually, it feels quite soft. Let's try again. Roll rate, full roll. Do a little bit more movement or a little bit less expo. Turn that off. All right, let's come back round. Got time to do one more maneuver, I think. Just line right back to the centre line. See if you're a knife edge loop. I'm powering up, going to go full throttle. Roll to the right. Right rudder, feeding it in. Full right rudder, coming over the top, easing the right rudder off. Easing the throttle off, whacking the rudder right on now and power. Don't come out unless it's got power. Oh, I think I got away with that one, nailed it. <laughs> Quite a lot of strain there. That was nice. Ten, and there, nine, I think I heard the timer. Eight, seven, six. Five, oh, slowed up too much then. Uh, and of course, from habit, gone back to habit, and landed the wrong way around, but never mind. Two, We've got a tiny bit of downwind, but that's okay. 
It's really floating. Obviously a bit fast because it's a tiny bit downwind. And I have just noticed my tail wheel is slightly loose against the rudder. That's okay. I enjoyed that, so a little bit more adjustment. I think I'll take out, put a little bit more, take a bit of movement on, on normal flight condition on the elevator. Then on 3D flight condition, I'm gonna turn up some movement, add some movement in. Guys, where are you? Here you are. Right. <laughs> right, absolutely loving this model and this setup. I uh, can't wait to get back and see what this footage has turned out to be like. Hopefully it, it's good. I've got one more flight left for the day. So all I'll do is I'll upload at least three videos from today's flying session. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. If you can just put some comments in there, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, give me your thoughts. If you've tried it on VR, then feel free to let me know. I don't have a VR headset right now and he's going to borrow it off my son's uses Oculus Quest for that. Um, but again, if you're inside the YouTube app, you've got the pan controls at the top. So if you're on the 360 camera, you'll be able to pan around. Now I think I need to publish the 360 footage completely separate without overlaying any of the other footage from the other two cameras. So I will do that as his own clip. But uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. See you next time around.